Well, I wanted to show you. I went ahead and ran a tiller through my garden after I burnt that residue off. And before some of you scream and say, you should never till and I'm killing the microalgal fungi or whatever that stuff is, I set my tiller to go about two inches deep. It's not down there. My fungi is still partying somewhere deeper than that, I'm sure. Um, but we had, uh, I thought we had a cold front coming through like most of y'all do, but uh, it's really not gonna get that cold here, thankfully. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my soil. I mean, this is, you're looking at it and saying, man, that guy's bought some land with some good soil. That is not what happened. This beautiful black soil is the result of using the Back to Eden deep mulch method for, uh, for soil improvement. I haven't gotten, I think I've got one load of wood, chip, of wood chips in the last year, probably year and a half. So that source has kind of dried up for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not a genuine back to Eden gardener right now because I just don't have the chips. I should have gone around like I used to do in the uh, fall and gathered a bunch of leaves off the uh, curbs in town and brought them out here and spread all over my garden. You know, leaves leaves don't stay around as well as wood chips do. Leaves blow, but uh, it's still a good thing. And I've got tons of leaves. I, I just don't I don't rake leaves. But I'm um, thinking about getting a bagger for my new mower that will uh, bag uh, leaves and, and mulch them and and where I can put them out here. But anyway, I didn't do that. And so right now it's just soil. These gardens are um, oh, 40 by 60, something like that. Both of them about that. And, uh, but anyway, you, you know, again, I know you're looking at it and say, man, he, he bought some good land. No, this land is horrible. It is red clay. It is iron ore rocks, gravel. At red and yellow clay just under the surface I mean just under the surface but what I did and mo most of you know this but what I did if you've watched me for any length of time what I did was pile this up when I had access to wood chips and I mean it was like almost every day two or three loads a week anyway or three or four loads a week sometimes I would just I pile this up I mean just mounded this garden up with uh, a foot 18 inches two feet tall of wood chips and just left them there you know just left them and uh, and then after a year or so I came through and with the tiller and just kind of turned them over so the top would be on the bottom and the bottom would be on the top not turning them into the soil but just turning the chips over uh, so they would compost more evenly and the result is this beautiful beautiful soil again below this soil there's a, there's a one little old piece below the soil is red clay I mean that's what I got all over my land and it is terrible to try to grow something in it will grow it will grow stuff but you can't cultivate it you can't uh, you know without a tractor and a plow and cultivators and stuff you just you can't work it by hand at all first time my wife wanted to do some metal detecting out here which was a month or two ago she grabbed her little shovel and went outside and got a beep or two and and jumped down <laughs> jumped down on that shovel and it went down about a quarter inch and she hit it again once or twice and it went down about another half inch she said oh my gosh I said welcome to my world I've been here for 35 years trying to dig in this mess anyway my point is this is uh uh, what I did came through here lightly everybody please don't hurt me lightly took off the cover crop that was on here I mean the, the point of having a cover crop is is to turn it in you know turn it into the soil one of the points of it anyway so um, boy I'm, I'm, my tiller messed up though I got to show you that next week and I don't know what to do about it I got a problem, 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 problem with my tiller. 
so anyway be looking for that maybe i can get some advice from some of y'all folks but uh just wanted to show you this i know some of y'all are digging out or hunkered down in 40 degree below zero and and uh man i feel for you i don't know what it's like i can't say i've been there because i haven't so, that's why i'm in texas that's why i'm down here and you should be too don't bring your politics if you're from california but you can you can come if you like texas if you like freedom and all the other stuff we stand for down here uh anyway this is the garden anything you see that's again this is uh, uh just trying to appease some of y'all folks that tell me i shouldn't be tilling i really didn't till that much some of that looks real real deep looks like six or eight inches deep well that's where the tractor tire was that just watered out because it was really kind of wet too wet to till but i had to do it because i had more rain coming anyway those are not furrows that I made, those are tractor tires. Cause my tiller is not wide enough to cover the whole tractors, the spectrum, the, the width of the tractors, tires. So anyway, I've said enough about that, but I do have it tilled. Uh, I don't know how big a garden I'm gonna plant this year. Um, I don't think I'm gonna plant much of a spring garden. Um, my The garden does so well in the, uh, the fall i've had such a good success with fall gardens and such terrible luck uh with bugs and all sorts of crap in for spring gardens that i don't know I'm, I'm gonna plant some but i don't know how much i'm gonna plant for uh, a spring garden uh onions and a few tomatoes a few peppers and i don't know if i do any squash you know like that squash bugs just take over if i don't really spray them well and i I know how to kill them. If you don't know how to kill them, look up there, right up there, right up there, right about now. And I can show you how to kill the squash bugs, but you got to be on them. You know, you got to stay with them. Anyway, two garden spots, rich, black, dark brown soil that was built with the Back to Eden garden method with deep, deep mulch, wood chips. Um, some of this was early years ago four five six years ago i started out putting hay on it and some leaves on it but then when i discovered my neighbor had some wood chips that i could have and discovered the back to eden film then i started putting wood chips on it just don't have you know i could probably ask him he's got another guy down the road that i think he watched one of my videos <laughs> about improving your pasture by putting wood chips on it because he said that's what he's he said he's carrying them down the road to a friend of his that 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 found out you can put uh, uh, put them on your pastures and and uh, make your pastures better. And I start say, yeah, Dad Gummy, watch one of my videos, probably. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe I'll start getting some more. And if I do, I'll put them on here. But for right now, I got what I got, and it is some beautiful soil. But just don't have any more wood chips on it. All this stuff is composted. I just see when I look in it, I see very very little. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of some wood chips and stuff, but not very much. Most of it is already composted down. It's just, it's just compost now. So, anyway, there's some of the corn residue that I was trying to burn up the other day and got, but I much, much mulched it up a little bit with the with the tiller. Anyway, that's it. That is what's going on down here. Y'all hunker down, stay out of the cold. Uh, I know it's going to be cold for y'all, and I, I do feel for you. Anyway, garden spots are ready. we we'll back off and give you a good shot of both of them. They're ready. We're ready to go. Just need a little warm weather. I know you do, too, if you're up north. <laughs> you're wanting warm weather bad. All right, that's it. We are gone.